everyone welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be a little bit of a haul it's gonna be pretty random because I have a lot of things laid out on the side of my bed that you guys can see a little bit over here um, I just got back from San Diego last night and I just filmed a little rant video so if you guys want to watch that video that will be linked down below it's my experience with flying American Airlines which was icing on the cake but um, if you guys want to see some of the goodies I picked up, go ahead and keep on watching this video and excuse my face. I'm taking a break on using some foundations just because I've been breaking out a lot lately, so giving my skin a little bit of a breather. But if you guys want to know what I picked up on this trip, go ahead and keep on watching this video. I'm going to start off with some of the food that I was able to bring back home. And of course, when you're at the mainland and you're from Hawaii, you have to go to Trader Joe's. I didn't go too crazy this time because I only had a little small carry-on luggage and a backpack to put everything in. And my everything was filled by the time I even went up there. So, my mama, she likes teas. So I got her the Trader Joe's specialty teas in mango black tea. And I just figured so this is something she might like. I'm not a tea drinker, but she is. So this was only like $1.20, I think. So I got her this one. And then I also got her some other snacks, but that's in the pantry that I didn't want to bring everything out. And then I wanted to try the Trader Joe's cookie butter sandwich cookies. And um, I never tried these. I did try their cookie butter, which I got last time I was in San Fran. So I wanted to try this one out, so I got this. And then my favorite are these cocoa batons. I got two because I already ate one from my last trip when I went up in the mainland. So I got two of these because these are bomb AF. Toru, my sis Brenda, if you guys didn't know, that's who I stayed with in San Diego. Um, she was nice enough to let me stay with her and her family and I got to play with um, her son Toru and he's so cute um, I miss Toru, I miss you sis but I got these banana chips which is actually really really good I still have half of a bag that I had from last time I was in California when I was in San Fran for a day so I got another bag of this because it's something easy to like just throw in your bag and just munch on. The rest of the things is in this big dory bag that I got from Target because if you didn't know Hawaii, they kind of stopped the whole plastic bag ban. So I got this for like a dollar I think and I have a lot of things in here as well as laid out on my bed. Everything isn't going to be too much in order but I'll tell you guys where I got it from. I'll start off with the Dollar Tree because we don't have any of the Dollar Trees or like 99 cent stores or like that kind of a thing they closed down our price busters which was like a cheap store you could go to but my mama has been wanting to start coloring and I see a lot of these at stores and some stores is like pretty expensive and they're like starting at like maybe five or six dollars that can be inexpensive but if you find one that's for a dollar you get the one that's for a dollar so I got her this one it's not as tiny as other ones that I saw but I figured this would be easier on her eyes, so I got her this one. I also got these heart um, beads there because if you go to raves, you make candy. I wasn't planning on going to, but my friends were talking about going to one, and we weren't going to make candy, but I was maybe thinking like maybe a single or something like that, single bracelets. But I got this just in case, and it's always good to have. I also got my cat a toy these at like walmart is like six seven dollars and i got this only for a dollar so she was playing with this last night i also got her a collar but she's wearing it and i'm not about to go ahead and grab her right now but i got her this toy for a dollar also these glasses my mom and my dad didn't like to use reading glasses or they need to use reading glasses my hair is a mess so I got them these. Apparently I didn't get the right prescription, but like we still can use it. Um, it's not as strong, I think, as what they needed. But um, I got these for my dad because his one doesn't need to be that strong, he said. So I got him these two for a dollar each. Another item that I got from the Dollar Tree was this daily moisture hand cream. My mama has like really dry hands and the lotion that she used to use used to look like this packaging so I figured this could be like the generic 
brand of it so I got her this just to throw in her purse because her hands get a little bit too dry sometimes so I just figured I'd get this little thing for her to try out and if she likes it I'll look for it the next time I'm up in the mainland so I got her this a lot of the things I got was mainly for other people and not so much for myself then exciting because I finally got to go to a Daiso I always hear people talking about it here on YouTube and I never went so a lot of the things I got is from Daiso that's in here the first thing are these cute little headbands you can use when you um, put it on your makeup. It has like a bow on it. You can see that one. But it has like a, a really nice cute bow and it's like a towel microfiber material. So I got two. One for me one for my mom. Probably going to give her the lighter one <laughs> on the darker one. So I got this for me and my mom. Then I got this really cute mirror. I want to blind you guys but it looks like that. It's like the little antique looking style. But I thought, I thought it was cute. It comes with a little stand and this was like $1.50 I think. And for my mom, she needed the stronger prescription um, reading glasses. So I got her these two which was $1.50 each. And yeah, I got her two different styles. So she told me it was like a prescription 250 or 275 so I got her the 250 ones and yeah these are from Daiso it was really cool going to a Daiso because I never went one I went to one they have like a lot of cute little trinkets and at Daiso um sis told me to try these haichu bites in grape and strawberry and I have had haichus but not like the ball version so I'm excited to try that they also had these um, charcoal facial cleansing foams and charcoal is supposed to be good for your skin and that's the kind of mask I use anyways so I wanted to go ahead and give this a try you know it's funny I bought this not even knowing how much ounces it was and it was just winging it and I was carrying it on and I didn't get stopped so I got this one I'm excited to use it hopefully it doesn't break me out or anything it smells like charcoal but Japanese products are supposed to be good so I got that you guys all know how expensive iPhone chargers are and especially the one from Apple when they break super fast so she told me that her and her hubby bought some chargers from Daiso for $1.50 only so I got two one in blue and one in green because mine's one is like ripping and it's like I'm surprised it even worked on my trip but I got two for backup for $1.50 each that's a steal because they're like what five bucks the cheapest the ones you can find down here is like five bucks for one and then I bought this little perfume traveler thing like um I forgot the name brand of it but I saw these at Daiso I'm not sure how to open it but you can just put like your favorite perfume in there the one I normally use is a roller ball from Marc Jacobs that my sis got me but um it just looks like this and then you put your perfume inside and yeah so I thought this was really cute and they're pretty expensive online too and you still have to pay for shipping so I said I thought about it like why not just get it at Daiso and I don't need it right now but it's good to have that I like to use these hair turbans and I got these at the Dollar Tree for one dollar so I got this because I only have two and they're always like dirty because I always wash my hair so I got an extra one should have got more though and then my sis, sis, this is for my sis, I didn't buy it, she gave it to me. She wanted me to try the Airspun Loose Face Powder, so I'm going to probably use this to bake under my eyes when I do the full-on face makeup. And then she gave me the Revlon Color Stay Nude Palette, so this looks like a nice palette to travel with, so um, very neutral colors, stuff that I use when I use eyeshadow. And she also gave me this really cute, um, striped long sleeve this is like the type you would just use to lounge in or like just wear leggings underneath so i got this one from her thanks sis because she knew i didn't bring a jacket and i went out with her brother one night and it was really cold so but i didn't end up using it because i was embracing the coldness because it's so hot here in hawaii a couple things i got from target is this maybelline lumi thing she wanted me to try it i know maybelline um this is on animals but she wanted me to try it so I was like okay if I don't like it I'll give it to my mom my mom's willing to try anything so I got that and then I got these planner things um, 
maybe for next year I'm just gonna use this kind of planner instead of buying like the really expensive ones so I got this I just need to put the thing for it and I got some washi tape for a dollar which um, I just got these two these are the only two ones that really caught my eye so I got these two washi tape then I went to Ulta y'all know we don't have an Ulta here I do have an Ulta like I can buy things online but again you gotta pay for shipping and I'm not about to do that so the NYX cosmetics was buy one you get one half off we don't have that kind of sale down here a lot a lot of the time it's just like 25 cent 25 percent off or 10 percent off so I got the liquid um, suede cream lipstick in the shade club hopper which is a really dark red purple purple red and I tried it on my um, hand and it lasted pretty long so I'm if you guys want to see a review on it, I got that. And then I got the NYX gel eyebrow gel thing. And I wanted something really light for foundation wise because I'm trying not to use too much of my Milani one which is a lot really like really heavy duty I would say. It's like full coverage. So I wanted to try the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation. It's oil free. And so this is supposed to be like a satin finish when they say Demi Matte. So it kind of has a sheen to it, it's supposed to look like skin. So I got this one, and the shade I have is in Chestnut. Other things I got is um, also from Ulta, but these are gifts. It came in a box, but because the box took a lot of space, I took them out and I put them in plastic bags because these are gifts. And I, it came with a set for $20 with dual-ended face brushes and eye brushes. And this one was... Um, a lot of palettes so you had like a a blush and highlighter palette right here and then you got an eyeshadow palette but neutrals and a pop of color the blue and then also lip palette so I'm gonna be giving this set to my mama because she likes the small little kind of things and I know she's gonna like the brushes she doesn't have a lot of brushes so I feel like those might benefit her a little bit more and then for my mom she doesn't know I got them these yet, so I'm excited to go pick up my mama today and give her some of her stuff. And let me just try to open it. I mean, that's who I wanted to give certain things to, but if they want to trade, they can. My mom's one has a lot of like primers, so her set for $20 came with a beauty sponge, which is really soft. I'm surprised. I thought it would be like stiff, which I don't like. Um, so it came with like a beauty sponge, a mascara primer, a lip primer, eyeshadow primer, this is a concealer pencil, so this might benefit my mom a lot more because she's fair skin, and then the mattifying balm, my mom doesn't like to get oily, and then also a primer uh, for a matte finish, so that's that. So. All of that was only for $20 and it's normally a lot more. It was on sale. Then the last thing I got is for myself. And it's this military style olive green jacket that I got from Ross for $25. We don't have jackets down here I think right now because it's really hot. So this is a steal for me. I've been looking for a jacket like this and a lot of the places down here is a lot more than $25. So I found this one and this is going to be my traveling jacket because I like it because it cinches at the waist, it's neutral, it has a hoodie so this is what I treated myself with besides food so I got the jacket. That's about it for this video. It might have been a long one because I was talking a lot and I bought a lot to show you guys. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see me put out there. Leave your suggestions down below. Let me know what city I should travel to next. I really want to travel and I'm just saving a lot of money right now so I can do that. But yeah, and if you didn't yet, subscribe to my channel so you guys are notified of future videos from me. All of my other social media links will be down below in the info bar. And yeah, and don't forget to watch my rat video because that's pretty interesting. I really want to know if anybody experienced that with that airline or another airline. But until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!